What's up, everybody? Patrick from WP Builder Helper, and we have another sponsored video finally. So BitApps has reached out to me again. They have this interesting product that's on AppSumo that's running a lifetime deal, and I wanted you guys to know about it. It's very, very interesting, and as you know, I don't back all projects, but I thought this was one that was interesting. So let's talk about that. All right, so if you're somebody who's maybe brand new or you're, you're new to the channel, you probably heard of me talk about these guys before. So BitApps is a company that came out a while ago. I was kind of promoting them in um, 2021 because they had recently come out with BitForm, but now they've actually come out with this next product, which is Bit Integrations. And if you're a fan of BitForm, which I know a lot of you were, um, you're probably going to be a big fan of this. So I kind of wanted to, to talk about it because they, they gave me a license. They said, hey, look, here's a license. Let me take and, uh, you know, play with it and see what you think about it and basically give us your honest feedback. So if you're familiar with BitForms, it is a really, really um, pretty cheap form builder that had come out a while back and it's got great pricing. This is a great deal still for forms if you're looking for something. Um, most form builders you are going to pay an arm and a leg for, and this is just a great form builder. But we're not here to talk about that today. Instead, let's talk about bit in, uh, integrations. So if you've never heard of this app or you don't know what it is, it's basically an app integration plugin for WordPress. So think of it much in the same way that you would think of something like um, an automation app that's going to take an automate WordPress. So it's got conditional logic and field mapping. It's got all kinds of plugins that they're adding support for. As a matter of fact, I just asked for a plugin to be added to it. But it also integrates with all this other software like Google Sheets, Google uh, uh, MailChimp, uh, Zoho, CRM, all this stuff. So it's and it works with almost every single form builder. Now, don't worry, I'm going to take and I'm going to show you the back end a little bit later. But I take I wanted to take you through it and just show you an idea of what you would be getting yourself into. Now, right now, the pricing on their page has this. This is what it will go into. Once I believe the pricing ends with uh, AppSumo, like this will be their standard pricing and you'll just have to do this, which I think is still $99 a year for it for a thousand uh, site license is pretty fair. I, I, I really, really like the way that they price their stuff where they're not trying to price themselves out of the market. So if you're interested, it's on AppSumo now. Um, obviously, there's no commission with this, so I'm not getting a commission with this. But uh, it's got some great stuff with it. You can stack up to four codes for unlimited sites, which is awesome. But even if you just needed um, one code, one code's five sites. I would probably at least stack two codes, which is 50. But honestly, if you got the 200 bucks to spend, it's worth it to stack four codes because you're going to get it for unlimited sites. Uh, as I said, a little bit later, we're going to talk about what it can do and what it would basically it allows to be done. Um, they've also got some stuff on their Facebook form. So if you go to there, you can find them under this uh, bit apps community. And they're constantly talking about stuff that they're coming out with, what to expect for even their form builder and everything else. So they're constantly adding content. Uh, the main people who run it are very, very responsive. I like them a lot. That's part of the reason that I back them is because they've been very, very trustworthy with even their bit form, which had a lifetime release. And as you can see, they're coming out with new releases all the time. This was released literally like six days ago, and we've seen other releases just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. So they'll continue to release stuff. And as you can see, here I am saying Brizzy Forms. You know, they've got almost every form builder known to man, but we're going to, like I said, we're going to dive into that. So I tell you what, let's dive into it now and get an idea of what you can expect. All right, so here we are inside. Once you've loaded the Bit Integrations Pro plugin, you'll have a license field right here that you'll have to put your license into. And you're also going to have this. Now, in the beginning, this is going to be blank, but I'm going to show you exactly how 
you can take and you can build this. So these are some triggers that I've already created. These are the action names. And then these are status uh, symbols and when, what time they were created at. And then you've even got actions such as info, timeline, edit, clone, and delete. So basically what you would expect. You've also got some settings in here where you can erase all the data in the plugin and then also specify how many days old the log will be basically deleted. So let's go in and let's jump into an integration. So from the very start, you're going to notice that there is like every form known to man. You've got Bricks, Divi, Elementor, Cali Forms, Ninja Forms. There's pretty much everything in here that you can think of, even Contact Form 7. Um, pretty much every popular form builder. And then you've also got some user registration, some WooCommerce stuff. They are steady adding on to this as they go, and they're going to continue to add on to it. I've asked for Brizzy to be included, and uh, there's a couple of other things that they could basically include, but they continue to include it. So once you take and you pick a trigger, so let's say Divi in this point, We'll pick Divi. It'll ask for a form. We'll select this one. This is the only one that we have right now. And then we'll click Next. Now, all of a sudden, you have all of these different things that you can take and you can integrate with. You can integrate with Google Calendar and Google Drive and Google Sheets and Post Creation and Wishlist Member and WooCommerce, all the Zoe stuff, Zapier, Telegram, Trillo, Tutor MS, WP Course, Webhooks, OneDrive, Pabli, I mean, just everything you can think of, you can integrate with. And there are some things that obviously this doesn't cover the whole exhaustive list of things, but you integrate with a lot of the main things that you would want. So let's go back and let's look at how an integration actually works and what it does. So if we go back to our integrations, you can see I have a couple. I've got a WooCommerce integration here. And I've got some Divi integrations here. One is a two-part integration that actually works with this WooCommerce integration. And one is a MailChimp integration. So what we have is if we go to this page, you're going to see that this is just a standard page. And it's got some stuff. It's just using one of Divi's templates. But it's got a form on it. So in this form, if I type in a name, so let's go with Joe Smith. And I use Joe Smith, and he's at joe.com. And I type in a message that says test. And of course, do the little captcha. We'll take and we'll submit it. And in a second, it'll let me know that it's submitted. So the cool thing about this is on the back end, this is working on the back end. And what it's going to do is it's going to run this and it's going to submit it to MailChimp. Now you can see this has been successfully delivered. So then we go to MailChimp, we go to a list that I have, and as you can see, it says zero con uh, contacts. This is basically just a list that I built, but what I did was I told the form from here that when someone inputs their username and uh, their email to basically add them to MailChimp. So if we go here and we take and we refresh, we should see that Joe Smith has most likely been added and boom, there he is subscribed. And you can even see the source that he is subscribed from date and everything. So this is just one example of how you can basically do this, but there's more than that. Just wait. So let's say that you've got a shopping cart page. And in this case, I'm already logged on to this website, so I don't want to necessarily use this. But let's say I want to make it to where whenever someone enters in WooCommerce and they go to the shopping cart page to create an account, I want to make it to where they register an account with WordPress itself. And this is where the power comes in because sometimes when a person makes a WooCommerce shopping cart uh, 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 basically like a client login, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be a user. It just means that's their WooCommerce, even though most times it does. In this case, I want to make it to where the user who logs in, it actually builds them account without them having to do anything. So in this case, I'm going to type in uh, Patrick McCoy at patrick.com and I'm going to register. And you're going to notice very quickly that this is going to make, basically sign me into the website itself. 
I now have a WooCommerce basically dashboard and it gives me my orders and you can see it says, hello, Patrick McCoy. So let's log out of this. Let me log back in. Okay, so I'm gonna log back into this. And then let's go check the users. And from here, you can now see, oh, well, there's a Joe Smith and a Patrick McCoy. That's most likely because I screwed up. He's actually a subscriber whenever he sent the email. So it goes to show you the power of what you can do with this integration. There's just so much that you can add and that you can do with it that it's kind of a little bit ridiculous. And they're just growing it out more and more as we go. Um, some of your biggest builders are in here. You've got Elementor, you've got Divi, you've got Bricks. Obviously, you've got Oxygen because Oxygen uses most of these form builders. You've also got Beaver Builder. Um, I'm waiting to see. I'd like to see some more stuff like Brizzy and Cadence and a couple of others. But overall, they've done a great job with including most of the major forms that you could find out there that most people use. And as with everything, all of these triggers pretty much work interchangeably with every single form builder. So you'll get access to all of this once you take and you basically sign up with them. So, you know, there's nothing to, there's nothing necessarily, there's no links here. Um, in all honesty, they have an AppSumo deal that's going on right now. And there's no link for that, but you could definitely check it out. I think it's $200 for unlimited websites like I had pointed out in the beginning. I think that this is a great deal and that you should definitely check it out. Go ahead and drop a message down below if you have any questions and hopefully the creators, uh, they'll get back to me and I'll ask them the questions that you have and we could go from there. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.